concept of zinc oxide is huge. That's something I want to show you with this slide here. So years ago, we made a small study with uh, three pigs getting either pharmacological levels of zinc, uh, which means 1000 ppm or 2500 ppm, um, a high intake, which was above the regulatory level, the upper level in the EU, another three pigs, and something which was close to the physiological requirement, 50 ppm, three pigs. And what you can see here in this dendrogram is that it is like a fingerprint. So although we had very few animals in this study, we can see exactly that each group was affected very similar by the different levels of zinc in the diet. So zinc obviously has a very strong effect on intestinal bacteria. And looking a bit more into details, uh, this was part of a PhD thesis. Um, we could see in the small intestine of piglets some interesting effects which fully underline what has been published before. So let me start um, first of all with the explanation. So we had again a low, a medium or a high level of zinc in our diets. High means pharmacological, low means 50 ppm, medium means uh, EU level. And look what happened with the lactobacilli. So in the small intestine, normally you find a lot of lactobacilli. And here we can see with increasing levels of zinc oxide in the diet, the number of lactobacilli goes dramatically down. So the beneficial bacteria, lactobacilli, uh, are going down. On the other hand, we have seen a dramatic increase of clostridia here. Normally we would say clostridia are not beneficial, not all of them, some maybe, but some not. We have seen also that the Escherichia and Shigella group increased, so we have found higher levels of enterobacteria. So that means exactly that we have a huge impact uh, on the microbiota, which is strictly related to zinc oxide. So this method here was very precise. It was a um, 454 sequencing here of the core microbiota, which uh, gave a lot of interesting information. 